Well, we begin with breaking news tonight. Barry Morphew, Suzanne's husband, in jail tonight, accused of killing his wife of 26 years. He now faces multiple charges, including first degree murder. The mother of two went missing almost one year ago on Mother's Day. Her husband claimed Suzanne left their Maysville home for a bike ride and never came home. We have team coverage with Carity on News Channel 13's Chase Golightly and Dan Beatty, who was at the Chafee County press briefing late today in Salida. We'll begin with Dan, who has been on the story from the beginning, live outside the Chafee County Courthouse. Dan? Heather Bard, after a little less than a year, investigators still haven't found the body of Suzanne Morphew. But even without that key evidence, the district attorney here in Chafee County says she is confident to charge Barry Morphew, Suzanne's husband, with murder. According to the Chafee County Sheriff's Office, Barry Morphew was taken into custody this morning without incident in Poncha Springs. Court records show Morphew will face three separate charges, murder in the first degree, tampering with physical evidence, and attempting to influence a public servant. District Attorney Linda Stanley would not say if there is an alleged cause of death, but she did say this. So at this time, without the body, we wouldn't be able to say that publicly. We do have information that led us to this point today and how we think a certain scenario had occurred. But as we investigate further, that may change. So at this time, I can't comment. We're not releasing the affidavit and we don't have a body. So how can I convince the public that we have a strong case? That's my job. I'm the one that considers how strong my case is before I bring charges and I wouldn't bring charges unless I was confident. Sheriff John Speezy wanted to make it clear today is not a day for celebration and the search for Suzanne is still ongoing. However, the district attorney says today is about honoring Suzanne's memory. Barry Morphew was booked into the Chafee County Jail this morning. His first court appearance is scheduled for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Salida, Dan Beatty, KRDO, News Channel 13. Well, not only is this an emotional day for the Morphew family, but also for so many in the community who have helped with uh, the search for Suzanne since last May. An ongoing effort. KRDO News Channel 13's Chase Golightly spoke with those who attended today's briefing and continues our team coverage. Chase. Bart, Heather, we saw many people out here crying and holding each other as that press conference was underway. For the past year, they have wanted to know what happened, and today they may have finally gotten in an answer. Now, looking at this video, you can see more than a dozen people from Salida and the surrounding towns here in southwest Colorado arrived for today's press briefing. Many even created a memorial for her and searched for her themselves. Those who knew her tell me they almost lost hope that this case would go unsolved. Now, with the suspect behind bars, what they hope for next is for authorities to find Suzanne's body. I'm hoping that they find her and we can take her home where she needs to be. For her family, we need to put this at rest and for everybody here in Salida and across the country. Now, when I asked about their thoughts on Suzanne's husband, Barry, being the suspect arrested and charged with her murder, many tell me they really didn't want to believe it. But they said they had their suspicions that he may have been responsible after he didn't show up for any of the searches or memorials for Suzanne. Barry Morphy has claimed she went on a bike ride that day and never returned. Suzanne would have turned 50 this past week. Reporting live in Slida, Chase Lightly, KRDO News Channel 13.